Woodrow Wilson, born in 1856 and died in 1924. He was the 28th President of the United States of America. He graduated from Princeton University in 1879 and was elected Governor of New Jersey in 1910. This would prepare him for his future presidency and the critical decisions he would have to make in office, especially during his second term. President Wilson's second term was largely influenced by World War I. Though Woodrow Wilson was known as a peace seeker, it was around this time in 1917 that America learned of the Zimmerman Telegram. This telegram was a huge turning point in World War I. This telegram that tried to convince Mexico to fight alongside Germany and against the Allies was the straw that broke the camel's back for President Woodrow Wilson. So, on April 2, 1917, Woodrow Wilson pleaded with Congress to declare war on Germany, uttering this famous quote, the world must be made safe for democracy. America joining helped bolster the chances of an ally victory. And on November 11th, 1918, an armistice was signed by Germany. And on January 1919, President Wilson helped to negotiate the Treaty of Versailles. The treaty introduced a charter for the League of Nations and later allowed him to outline his plan for a 14 point peace settlement. So overall, President Woodrow Wilson had a great deal of impact on World War I and the American home front. He also played a key leadership and peacemaking position during the aftermath of World War I, leaving his mark on American history indefinitely. World War I started in July of 1914. 65 million men from 30 countries fought in World War I. 10 million men died. The Allies lost about 6 million soldiers. The Central Powers lost about 4 million soldiers. In August 1914, German troops shot and killed 150 civilians trying to terrify the civilians in surrounding areas. The Germans were the first to use flamethrowers in World War I. The flames could be shot up to 130 feet. The most successful fighter pilot of the entire war was a German fighter pilot named Albrecht Freyer. He shot about 80 planes throughout the war. The Allies' most successful pilot was René Franck. He shot down 75 enemy planes. The total cost of World War I was about $30 billion. Tanks were invented in World War I. The first tank was named the British Mark I, and that was invented in 1915. Another major technology advancement was the poison gas. Women on the home front during this time were brought together because they had one thing in common. They sent their loved ones off to fight in the war. They would all write letters to their husbands and other loved ones. During this time, women had to accept rationing and therefore not have specific foods that they might want. Because the men were not home, the employment of married women increased rapidly. Women started working outside of their homes for wages. Over the course of the war, over 700,000 women took up posts in the military equipment industry and over 80% of weapons were produced by women. Areas of work that were normally reserved for men were now where women were employed. These jobs included railway guards, ticket collectors, postal workers, and bank tellers. Of course, women were still known for nursing and their mothering abilities. Before the war ended, women refused to accept lower pay for work that men would get paid more to do. Also, their efforts were mostly voluntary and sometimes unrecognized. Women risked their lives working in dangerous conditions. Over 400 women died due to exposure to an explosive agent in their working environment. Because women were working, it showed that they played a vital role in contributing to the war of effort in place of the absent men. Not only did women have to worry about taking care of their children and providing for them, but also wondering if people were going to force their way into their homes. When air raids come into the homes, they injure and sometimes kill. Most women felt it like they were living in constant danger.